subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Today on Lady Mary Beth, it's all about compotes. I will share my collection along with uses and a bit of history. Join me. To understand this all-important vessel, we must first look at the dish that inspired it. Compote is derived from the Latin word compositus, which means mixture, and in French it is compote, and it was originally a dessert that was whole or pieces of fruit cooked in water, and they made a sugar syrup, and to this they added cloves, cinnamon, raisins, orange peel, and sometimes grated coconut. And this was served at the end of a feast in medieval times, and during the Renaissance era, it was served as the last course. And it was believed that it helped counterbalance the effects of humidity on the body. And this all important dessert, of course, had to inspire a vessel in which to present it. There are three types of vessels that were inspired by this compote dessert, a tazza, comport, and compote. A tazza is wide and shallow. It's also a footed item. And in my father's collection, he's got a great example of this elegant glass from the turn of the century. And you'll notice the very flat top. We often use this for after dinner chocolates. It's a gorgeous piece and great example of a tazza. And in the William Randolph Hearst collection, there's also a beautiful piece that is silver gilt from 1565 London. Lots of great pieces in history that were made to go with this wonderful dessert that was popular at the time. And the comport I like to think of as a footed platter. It is rather wide and shallow, and you sometimes find this in different patterns. Usually it's more of a porcelain or a pottery. And here's a great example of a brown glazed comport that is from England around the 1930s. And the compote dish is more like a candy dish. That's something that you probably see often and you may have in your collection. It is a footed base with a stem that leads up to a bowl. And there are many traditional, modern, and creative uses for the compote. There are three reasons to embrace this tabletop essential. It's useful, affordable, and makes a great gift. Some of the traditional uses that you probably can imagine would be nuts or candy. And more modern uses would be for whipped cream when you're serving cake, as I often do, or tea time. You could also maybe use it for a chip and dip, and it's actually a space saver if you put that in the center of a platter. Maybe a chocolate mousse, lots of different ways to use that on your table, but then you can get creative. And that's what I enjoy. I add decorative elements, place it on my buffet or a side table and create an interesting look. And you can even float a fresh flower or create a beautiful arrangement by anchoring the stems in Oasis. And that makes for a stunning centerpiece. And there are many ways that you could use these compotes. And let's talk about how to acquire them affordably. Many of mine I have picked up at estate sales, thrift shops, and antique stores, and Goodwill as well. And there are so many different styles and types that you can find anything to meet your price point. And maybe you see these at your charity resales, but you just don't give it a second look because maybe you don't know what it's for. But now you can embrace this and even pick it up for a gift. And I like, not only is it an affordable gift, but you can actually use it as a vessel for presenting a gift. Oftentimes when you go to purchase a fancy gift bag or box, you might spend so much that you don't really have much to show for it afterwards. It's maybe discarded. And keep in mind, you can actually place the gift inside of a compote. 
or use that as the main gift. For example, attach your favorite recipe for lemon squares, place some lemons inside, wrap it in cello in a beautiful ribbon, and you have a very creative gift. And that can also be presented with maybe soaps that are wrapped for a guest bath or so many other uses. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a gift. I was pleased to find two milk glass compotes. The bottom one, if you follow me on social media, you probably saw that I got this last year for I think $5.99 at Goodwill. It's a wonderful piece. And the small compote fits very nicely inside and I didn't realize that these two pieces coordinated so beautifully and I placed them together with my favorite design element, chinoiserie. A friend gifted me with this chinoiserie rabbit at Christmas and I've added that to a chinoiserie necklace and some of these decorative balls with some things you probably saw in my birthday video. And this would make a great table centerpiece with the milk glass compotes. Sterling silver adds such elegance to your home. This was a wedding gift, and inside I have placed a silk floral, which could be used as a decorative item on a side table or perhaps on your dining buffet. And this compote is probably the one I splurged on the most over the years. It's a beautiful example of crystal and sterling. It's an antique piece. It's got great detailing, beautiful cuts, and inside I have placed Murano glass candies. And the office supplies here are featured in a compote that is actually dual purpose. The glass bowl unscrews and it becomes a candle holder. I have several of these and they are definitely very purposeful. The silver plated compote I picked up at Wham Resale. It was only $10 and I use this on my breakfast table and right now I have Girl Scout cookies in it. And here I have placed a decorative ball and this I picked up at the MAM resale store. It was $3.50. So here I have an interesting look, or I could simply use this for something different as I'm doing right now with the cookies. I have several examples of EAPG, which as you probably know is early American pattern glass. This oversized compote was gifted to me by a friend. It was from her mother's estate. And you probably remember in the patriotic episode, I featured it behind me on the buffet with an infinity scarf wrapped around the base and strawberries for our dessert with pound cake. It's a very practical item. And today I have added a brown feather boa and peacock feathers. And inside I have placed a Costa Boda or Furs votive. I can also see flowers floating in this. So many possibilities with this large EAPG. This square compote is one of my recent finds from a charity resale, and I love the shape. That's not something you find very often. Inside, I've placed some Aunt Sally's pralines from New Orleans. These are always delicious. And I wanted to show you the detail on this, the fluted edge. And look at that gorgeous design. It really does look like American Brilliant, but it is EAPG, a very multi-purpose compote. This vintage Indiana glass compote is one that you see most often in antique shops and resale stores. It has the telltale teardrop design, a scalloped edge, and it's a very durable piece. I travel with this often. If I'm serving strawberry and shortcake and I'm going to a location, I will fill this with the sugared berries and place the shortbread on a platter. It's very much a space saver. And here I have filled it with K cups. It's a great addition to your coffee tea bar and very purposeful item. Keep an eye out for this one. This large crystal pedestal compote would be perfect for a centerpiece. I've placed silk florals here to show you, but I can imagine that fresh flowers would be amazing as a centerpiece, especially for a buffet where you're not worried about the height. And a friend was offering this on Beg Barter and Trade for Facebook, and I paid $20 for it. Very pleased to have this piece. This Fostoria compote in the meadow rose pattern is quite a graceful and beautiful piece. Inside I have placed my cards, it's what I keep on my desk, and you can see the gorgeous pattern here. And this crystal compote is a wonderful piece. I don't know if it's a particular brand. Inside I have placed some tea bags, 
And it does resemble Waterford, however, it is not. It is very close and it's a fine quality crystal. And this Bohemian glass, canary yellow cut to clear, is a special piece. I picked this up at an estate sale. Inside I placed a potpourri piece that I got in uh, Paris at Galerie Lafayette. And you can see the beautiful detailing here in the design. This is actually offered on my eBay store. If you want to take a look at that, I do have some watchers right now. And these glass and crystal compotes are absolutely stunning and so purposeful. This green glass mid-century compote is quite the find at my neighborhood Goodwill for $5. I love the color. I think it lends itself to many seasons. I can see this for Christmas or St. Patrick's Day. And imagine this in a white table setting. It would add just that pop of color to make a statement. So look out for the colored compotes because that will add lots of interest to your home and table. You know my compote collection would not be complete without Waterford Crystal. This is a Marquis by Waterford Hanover Gold pattern that started in the 90s during my tenure at Waterford Crystal. Has a beautiful gold edge, lovely cuts, and I filled it with chocolates that we brought back from our trip to Germany last in their gold foil wrapped, which goes very well with that rim. And this compote you might remember I found it in an estate sale and I filled it with seashells today. I had not seen this before and now I have acquired yet another one, so I have a matching pair. It's just such a beautiful old Waterford look. My absolute favorite compote in the Waterford collection is the Innisfree. And I filled it with a Robert Held art glass heart and two Waterford Crystal hand coolers. The blue one I carried down the aisle at my wedding. And here we have the Laurel Leaf Glandor pattern. I placed a dried item inside. Look at that classic compote. It's a great size. You do so much with it. And Liz Moore, the number one stemware pattern in the world, also has a matching compote. I've nestled it in some feathers. Isn't that gorgeous? I like that it's wide and you can do so much with it. I usually use that for cream on the tea table. And this one here is similar to the Alana cut. I placed a dried or actually silk hydrangea inside and it's similar to the Lismore in the shape of the bowl and it just has that extra little sparkle with the cut. And these are my Waterford Crystal Compotes. Take your table and gifting to new heights with this all-important tabletop essential. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with compotes.